Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem with your XAMPP server, which says uh, resource not found or 404 not found or URL was not found on this server when you use your XAMPP server. So let's get started and let's see how we can uh, solve this problem in few different uh, ways. So first of all, what you can do is you can right click on your browser and then you will see a section called inspect. So click on that and then you will see a section called network here. Okay. So on Firefox or Chrome, you will see these kind of uh, inspection uh, or debugging sections where you can uh, debug your uh, requests, right? So when you reload the page and you open the network panel, you will see uh, more details about the error you are facing. And right now you can see the status code is 404 and we are accessing this website on port 80, right? Now, when you open your uh, XAMPP server and if uh, you believe that your website is okay, but still it's not opening, then one reason can be that your code or your website code is located somewhere else where XAMPP cannot find it, right? So to debug this problem, go to your XAMPP and then click on Explorer. And if everything is correct, your code or your website code should reside in this htdocs folder, okay? So let me show it once again. When you go to the Explorer, your website code should be there in the htdocs folder. So make sure whatever code you have written, you have placed that code in the htdocs. So in my case, I have placed my code in the XAMPP folder, but not inside htdocs, but just inside the XAMPP folder. So this was my uh, code for my website. So I will just cut this folder and then I'm going to move this folder inside my htdocs folder. And once this uh, code is inside my htdocs folder, when I reload my web page, you can see it works, right? And now here you can see 200 OK, which means everything is working fine. So this can be one problem that your code for your website is not inside the htdocs folder. The other reason can be the port you are using is wrong. So as you can see, the Apache server is running right now on port 80. And that's why I can open this website localhost forward slash demo, right? Because port 80 is automatically taken in the background. You can see here port 80, right? Now, if this Apache server is running on some other port, so let me just stop this server. And now when I go to config section here in front of Apache, and then when I click on Apache httpd.conf file, it's going to open this kind of file. And when I scroll down, there is this section where I can change the port, right? So it might be that somebody or you yourself changed this port. So for example, I changed this port to port uh, 8080 instead of 80, right? And then I just save this file and then when I restart the Apache server, now you can see it runs on port 8080. And when you try to uh, access this localhost forward slash demo, it will not work now. You can see when I reload this page, this says this site can't be reached. And the error here is that this uh, web page is not now available on port 80. In this case, just check on which port your Apache server is running. If it's running on 80, then this will work. If it's running on any other port, then you need to provide the port number after lo localhost here. So just write localhost colon 8080 and then forward slash your uh, website route. And when you do that, it'll start working again, right? So you can see 
So sometimes you need to provide this port after localhost depending on, on what port your Apache server is running. Now, if in case you want to change the location uh, of your website, so right now, as I mentioned, your code should reside always in htdocs folder. If you want to change that path, then once again, click on config and then once again, click on apache httpd.conf and here there will be a section where you can change the path of your website. So once uh, you are on this uh, httpd.conf, just press Control F and search for document root, okay? And then you will find uh, this kind of result here, document root. So because by default, XAMPP has configured this document root to this htdocs folder, that's why XAMPP looks for this folder. If you want to change it, you can change it like this, for example, and then save this, and then you can place your code from demo to XAMPP folder also, right? It depends on what is the location of uh, this document root, and inside that folder, your code should reside. Okay, so this also can be a problem if this doesn't matches your code location. So these are the few different ways in which you can solve this resource not found or 404 resource not found error on your XAMPP server. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.